Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to declare and use multi-dimensional array in your PHP code. So for example, uh, you have some situation that uh, you need to print out or you need to make a list of students uh, according to name, the student name, age and his weight. How can you do it uh, using your multi-dimensional array? So let's see how we can achieve this and uh, let's see how uh, we can declare the array for this multi-dimensional kind of array. So the declaration will be the same. I will just change this as students is equal to array and then bracket and bracket closed. But in here you need to change uh, this because uh, what, how uh, will be your approach? If you make this as a key, how will you provide the value for age and weight at the same time, right? So the approach can be uh, different. For example, I can include array inside an array. So for example, I can declare array, not here, but here so array inside an array and this then this will be called multi-dimensional array and I will show you how to use this and I can add mark the name so I can add mark and the age and the weight age is uh, 15 and the weight is 46 for example and the same thing I can do for uh, this name for John. I can just give John and the age is 13 and the weight is 65. And same we will uh, do for the name Tom, right? So we can do it like this. Tom. The age of Tom is 14 and weight is 56, comma 14 and the, this will be comma 14, comma 56, right? And this should be also comma, right? So in this way you can declare a kind of array and to make it a little bit clearer, I can just rearrange this like this, okay? So you can declare an array like this and it will be uh, completely valid. So when I just save this and run it, I will not see any error. That means this is not throwing any error. Now in order to print this kind of uh, array, what you can do is you can just write echo and then you just need to provide two square brackets because it's a multi-dimensional array so we need to give uh, the row and column index or column key of uh, this array so for example i want to print mark and row and in uh, column starts from uh, row and column key start from zero so the key of this row is zero this is row one and this is row two and in the same way this is column 0, column 1 and column 2, right? So the, the key uh, row of the mark is 0, right? And the column of mark is also 0, right? But you also need to give the name of your array like this so you know that which array you are using. Let's try to print this and you will see the mar name mark. In the same way, you can print out all the values like this and you can do it like this. Okay, so I'm going to do the same for three names and just notice here I have provided a semicolon here so they will not clash. Alright, so uh, I can say um, I will also give this uh, concatenation symbol and give a break here so that uh, everything is printed in this different line 
br and i'll do the same for every every code right so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine values so we can also provide one more here for example three is here and we have one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay so let's print all the things zero zero and then the row here is one and the column is still zero so row one column is zero in the same way row two and column is zero for the name tom once again if you want to print the age the row is zero and column is one so row zero column one right and in the same way row row one and column one row one and column one and row two and column one row two and column one in the same way you want to print the value of weight you just need to change it uh two 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 and this will be zero one and two and when i save this and i run it i will be able to see all the all the names and all the ages and all the weights you can concatenate and make your own string i'm just uh, printing uh, these names and ages and weight uh, in a random way but you can just arrange the, them uh, side by side and you will be able to see all the names like this so let's arrange this so now i have arranged them in a way that it will show in this format okay uh, so i will just save it and i'll run it and it will show the name and the age and the weight right now for example you can have a different kind of array the second approach of using multi-dimensional array is the, like this so let's see so you can use associative uh, uh, array property right now it's a normal array and how you can use associative uh, array property to declare the same array so for example we can do it like this i will just uh, change this like this let me make it a little bit clearer so i have told you in the last video in associative property you can define your own key so the key for this uh, name can be name right i can just write name and then this equal to sign and then this greater than sign in a similar way i can provide the same key for other names john and tom and in a similar way i can provide the key for uh, the ages and the weight but i need to change the this to age 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 and age and this is weight 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 and weight so you can define the these uh, array like this using associative property this should be name here and this should be weight here right so using associative property you can just uh, define these array like this and this is also uh, purely valid right but in order to print this what you need to do is you need to give the row number of this and the key of this right so row 0 and the key is the name if you want to print this okay and once again row 0 uh, you want to give the age for example right so i will just write age here and row 0 and you want to print the weight so i will just give instead of column value you just need to give the keys okay so same we can do here and here and we can do for age 
we can do here and here and for the weight we can do like this and this and I will make it a little bit smaller so you can see all the text at the same time like this okay and this is also totally valid let's check it and it will print the same values right so in this way also using associative array property you can define multi-dimensional arrays okay the other way I think I've uh, included both the ways arrays and associative arrays okay so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now